Hello everyone, Donya here. A few weeks back, I was uh, posting some pictures on the Stance of Life Facebook page and on their Instagram. And I shared a stuffy doll with the American flag and a lot of folks had asked me how I colored her hair and they wanted a video. And I had promised them one and I apologize for the delay, but um, here's a sort of kind of how I did it because I never colored two things the same way. But I did use colored pencils and I used all the cool grays from um, uh, the Polychromo set from Faber-Castell, I think is how you pronounce it. I have some Gamsol here that I may or may not use, an eraser, a white gel pen. Uh, she's just stamped with licorice ink on a regular uh, white cardstock uh, powdered sugar. So uh, let's get started. Okay, I don't really follow too many hard rules with this. Um, but I know for a fact that at the roots, you're always going to have darker, darker shading. So I'm just going to kind of map it out what I'm doing here. And I know that I want to leave a crown of white. So this will be the crown of white of highlights. So I'm just going to scribble some. Again, this I'm just mapping it out. Uh, dark, dark, maybe some light in here. Uh, dark here. Uh, dark here. I know it's going to be dark under here because it's, it's dark, dark around her arms, dark in here. something like that. Then I take, um, usually this is the, this was just a, a, a medium color. This was uh, the cold gray three, just to have an idea of where I'm gonna start. So I know that I'm gonna want the roots to be dark. So I have the cold gray six. And I just do little strokes like your hair would naturally naturally look like. I want to leave this kind of sort of white for the for the highlights. And then around here. I'm just doing strokes of dark. And then I know that it's going to be dark down here. And then around her face and underneath here. Okay, and then let's see, maybe we want dark here and then then I grab the black and I stroke over the gray, not going all the way to the end. but I know I want it dark there. Now I'm gonna work one section real slow on how I would do the whole head, because then I'm gonna speed it up because it's gonna take forever. So then I just start grabbing various grays and working it in, going lighter and lighter. A 
blending it with the white. And some more dark, a little heavier hand. I got a little out of here, so that's why I have the, the eraser. And then the white again, and the white actually blends it really nice. So you really don't need the gamzel. Okay, let me keep going, and like I said, I'm going to speed it up.
Okay, I could play here forever and ever, but I thought I'd stop because this this will work. I think leaving it just like that. But if you want to take it up a notch, you could take a blue pen, like a really dark blue pen, and then just add blue highlights to the hair. And I believe I did that on the one that everybody was asking about. Just that the whole time I've done I've done just strokes. I haven't gone back and forth or anything, just a bunch of strokes. Just add some blue and that'll just add a little bit more interest to it. Um, and the whole time I've just kind of blended with the white, the white pen. I don't, I don't use too much Gamsol. I haven't used too much Gamsol. I haven't used any Gamsol on this. But if you want, you can. But I suggest that you don't scrub it too much because you don't want to lose the, the texture of it. So there's some harsh areas that you just want to blend a little bit. Go in and use it. But just underneath her to give it some shadow. That's about it. And then if you want the white to even stand out more, you can use the white gel pen and I'm hoping this is gonna work because my gel pens half the time are dried. And then just accent the white. I'm not even sure that's going on. I guess it is a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Like that. There you go, and that's how I do hair. So basically, really dark on the roots. I map out where I want the highlights to be. And then I use a ton of different colors. I don't stick to, to one color. And I don't use Gamzol because I don't want to break up the texture that I added with all the different strokes. I only use it a little bit if I want to darken like underneath here or some harsh lines that that I don't care for, um, just to blend them in a little bit better, but that's about it. And that's it. That's how I do hair. Hopefully this has been helpful. And thank you again.